Okay, my uh, my recent eBay purchase arrived. It's for eight push buttons. I need these for my rotary converter, and uh, they all have red buttons. That's okay, just like I received them, you know. And they're uh, these are uh, Allen Bradley 800T, as in Tom dash B, as in boy, and they're NEMA 4.13. Serial T or S-E-R-T or something. But anyway, the problem is, apparently, these are normally closed, judging from uh, how they work on the inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. There's a little thing that moves up and down. And I was expecting, like, you know, I was expecting these things to have normally open and normally closed contacts. So instead, it turns out that they just arrived here with uh, the way to have them be normally closed and nothing else. So, not being a switch expert, I guess what I need to do is take these things off and get the normally open to normally <coughs> closed um, converter backs or these contact blocks or whatever they're called. However, I'm disinclined because that would involve an additional delay and more money. So... The question for today is, uh, can I uh, dismantle this little uh, back block and somehow or another move that, uh, move that bar on the inside to where uh, I want to convert these things from being normally closed, uh, momentary off, I want to convert them to being momentary on, normally open. So I guess maybe I can move something around inside the switch block. And I do realize that it will involve some, uh, possibly involve some Dremel time or some red hot uh, butter knife time and some more glue. But hey, that's okay, you know, because this doesn't have to pass NEMA code or anything. It's just for my rotary converter. And I got to use these uh, to activate my uh, transformer and kick my motor into gear. You know, so, um, you know, um, have any of you guys ever um, taken apart one of these switches? That's today's question here, really. Obviously, these are all kind of uh, dirty and filthy and stuff, but hey, that doesn't bother me, you know, because they, I guess it was like 50 cents a switch or hey, whatever it came out to be. But I really want to, uh, I'd like to swap some of these switches. Hey, anybody want to, anybody have some uh, normally, um, normal? I guess they'd be called normally uh, open contacts I'd like to swap some of these back blocks and uh, by the way I'll clean them up for you they're a little bit under the weather but they do clean up nicely so I'll buff them up for you and uh, and uh, when you're ready I'd like to swap um, four of these normally um, closed back blocks for four uh, normally open back blocks for Allen Bradley 800 T's slash B type switches. So if any of you guys have them uh, back blocks or contact blocks for these Allen Bradley switches, you know, I'm all ears. You know, look, they even came with these uh, glorious um, plates here, you know. And uh, if you want, I'll just swap you the whole switch, you know. Because uh, these, these look like they're kind of what I would call under the weather or weathered out. They're slightly weathered, but that's not a big deal, you know. So if you want, I'll just swap you the back blocks. You know, used for used. You know, no big deal. And, uh, you know, they'll they'll buff up a little bit. You know, I can buff them up. Not a big deal. I'll have them buffed up. They'll be, like, sparkling brand new. And I'll even repaint the buttons, you know. But that don't bother me. And you know, I really want to just, uh, I want to swap these contact blocks, okay? So, if you guys have any contact blocks, or if you've ever um, taken apart one of these back, back dealies, you know, that'd be the way to go, huh? I guess I could reconfigure it and take it apart and take it off and try to move the thing around in the interior. Might have to reposition some of the poles or something. You know, it's a drag. It's going to involve some more reverse engineering and whatnot. But hey, oh boy, if you've ever done it, you know, just let me know. And look, I got these. These are apparently stainless steel. These are collectible in their own right. So if you have any... Um, if you have any knowledge of these switches, the Allen Bradley 800T-B uh, switches, K 
get back with me because I need some information on these switches. These things are obviously, uh, these things have got me uh, kind of in an uproar here because I don't really quite know what to do with the things. Because here, see what I got? Look at them all. I got eight of them. But four of them are the wrong config for old Bubba here. He needs the right config. So help me out a little bit, okay? Yeah. All right. Thanks for stopping in today, okay? All righty. Bye-bye.